Welcome to Sound Paint Podcast Saturday edition, as if there was ever any other kind. <laughs> um, we're continuing on with Nerd Out November. So for today, we got some good stuff. We are talking about one of my favorite composers that I actually can't pronounce his name. His name is Raman Dwaldi. Dwal. If anybody knows how to pronounce it, can you like tell me down below and write it out phonetically? That would be amazing. So we're gonna talk about the Westworld theme. If you haven't watched Westworld and you are a fan of Blade Runner, go watch it. That's all I'm gonna say. It feels like it's in the same world. That's all that that's all I'm gonna say. It's just it's so good. It uh it spurs on that conversation, that philosophical conversation of, you know, if something has a life, what rights does it have? Even if it's an Android. <laughs> um so we're gonna talk about the Westworld theme, but we're also going to talk about da -da -da -da, the Game of Thrones opening theme, which consequently is also the opening theme for the new Game of Thrones show. <laughs> I'm thinking of a, Metallica song, a Metallica song. I was thinking Enter Sandman. Oh gosh, what is it called? The Dragon. House of the Dragon, not Enter Sandman. I don't know where, where my brain is going. I'm thinking of metal. But anyways, yeah, it's the same opening theme song for both shows. So it's kind. this is kind of like a Westworld meets Game of Thrones meets House of the Dragon episode. I'm gonna try to stay on topic, but I may go off on tangents because I get, I get really excited about both of these shows. I am new to watching Game of Thrones. And I've said in past episodes that I loved all the seasons, including the eighth season. You can give me an explanation below why you think I am wrong. Cut his throat. But in watching seasons one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all within a span of a couple months. Yes, I binge watched it. It made sense to me and it felt on brand with the rest of the show to me. We're gonna start with the Westworld theme. It's very cold where I live, so my fingers are frozen, so I'm gonna do my best. What I love about this theme, now that I'm, I can wax on rhapsodically about it, is that it, brings you in, it draws you into this like fantasy world where awful things happen, but it has a whimsy to it. It really does, like a whimsy and an intrigue. And I actually want to play pieces of it and kind of talk about the music theory of it. So this might be a theory heavy episode. I apologize for that. But at the very least, if you don't no music theory or even play an instrument, you'll have a different perspective of what you're hearing. And I am rambling. Been sitting here for days. Start the damn joust. My goodness. Okay. The Westworld theme starts off. And I'm going to highlight the left hand because it just has like this driving octave bass line that honestly, I should be playing it on the bass, but I really like the way it sounds on the piano. So here's the left-handed octave. An octave means eight notes away. So we're in the key of A minor, which basically means I'm gonna stick to the white keys for the most part. But what is going on in the left hand is I'm playing A's and octaves. So it's A on the low end, A on the high end, and And then it has this kind of like driving, repeating eighth note feel. And it does this cool like little walking bass line. You'll hear it, I'll play it for you. How about I play it for you?
crackle. So that's what's going on in the left hand. And that kind of stays for most of the page. And then we have this beautiful like sweeping, these A's and octaves kind of descending. And then it goes. It's just haunting. All the while, you know, you've got this going on. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. <laughs> Next line is. Again, that descending. And then this beautiful. And then we have B flats in the left hand, we change to B flat. octaves change and we play this melody in the right hand with octaves. Oops. this chord arpeggio that honestly scares me, but I'm gonna play it really slow. So this is supposed to go fast. It's supposed to be like, but I'm not doing this whole phrase like that. But let's just draw it out and appreciate all of these really cool tones that we get. Stretch. That is an octave stretch. So I'm arpeggiating an A minor chord with a sharp seven note. That's that leading tone. Up to the octave. Whew. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not that difficult. I'm just being dramatic, really. doing this not today and honestly that's about as far as I'm gonna go but I think that the composition of it alone like you can play it really slow and just really enjoy everything you're hearing you can get lost in these tones this is like it draws you in and it captivates you and that's what good writing should do and every single episode I've ever watched, and I've watched every episode of Westworld, some twice, maybe some three times, um, I don't skip the intro because, you know, somebody created, well, Raman, 
Raymond? Raymond? Raman? I should know this. He poured his heart and soul into this composition, and at the very least, you could listen to it, and at the very least, I could know how to pronounce his name. He's one of my favorite uh, composers for, for film and, and TV. But anyways, that's the Westworld theme. Now we're gonna change it up a bit. I have, I have a special surprise. She's here. She has no name. None of my bases have names. I don't name them. It's not my thing. But she has a personality. <laughs> this cello line on my bass. It is in G minor. I'm gonna play it for you on the piano so you can hear it a little clearly. I also have the notes on the piano for this guy. I'm just kind of winging it by ear. So this is G minor. So I am arpeggiating a G minor chord, which is G, B flat, and D. This right here, this is the B flat. This note, this is what's making it minor. So halfway through this uh, phrase, I go up and I make it major. In case you're wondering what that little change is, we're changing from a G minor chord. It sounds like the Westworld theme. Doesn't it sound like the Westworld theme? It would be up here. I don't know. I feel off of going off on a tangent. I told you there would be tangents today. But we're exploring sound, so we're having fun. G minor. So we do that and then we go up a half step to make it major. So there is a G major chord. So that's just G, B natural, and D. And there you get it minor to major. Major. So that is a continu continuing bass line that is carried on throughout the entire theme of this. Oh, this is Game of Thrones, by the way, if I didn't mention that. <laughs> Game of Thrones. the bass. Now let's switch. Why am I shouting? I'm shouting here. Okay, so here it is on the piano. And unfortunately, I don't have an actual cello. So we're making do. Problem with the piano. It's not that I can't play it faster, but You've heard me talk about this in past episodes where sometimes a sound effect I have just has so much, it's sound envelope is so wide 
that sometimes it fights me. And you know what? I kind of felt like I wanted to slow it down because tell me if you think I'm right or wrong, but depending on where you are in the series, <coughs> in the Game of Thrones series, I'm pretty sure the tempo is either slower or faster. I think it speeds up in later seasons, but the first season I think is slow. So I'm gonna go with that and just be like, yeah. So that just, you know, you heard me play it on the bass. Doesn't like it. So there's our ostinato theme. He really likes to find like a common theme and make it good enough that it can repeat that often and not get boring. And I really appreciate that for, I really appreciate him for that. All right, and then we get uh, this melody. And then it jumps the octave, which I love. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You know what? I am done talking, not just because, you know, I have no more to say. And this episode is rounding the end, rounding the corner. Um, but I am done talking because I want to hear from you. What are some of your favorite themes that really catch your ear that you really love? could be a movie, it could be a show, but something that enhances your enjoyment of the show or movie. I, w I just, I wanna hear from you. What do you think of uh, Game of Thrones theme versus Westworld theme? Which one do you prefer? I'm asking a lot of questions right now. Just, just train of thought writing, just write it down. I wanna see your comments. So don't forget to subscribe. And I always forget to say that myself, but please subscribe. I need friends. I need friends to talk about nerdy things with. So have a fantastic weekend. Listen to good music, watch some good shows, and I'll see you next week. Bye.